FC Dallas is at Toyota Stadium getting ready for their penultimate home game of the season. The Chicago Fire visit tonight. The Brimstone Cup at stake for the FC Dallas faithful coming into Toyota Stadium on this Saturday. It stays in goal. Stephen Keel alongside Matt Hedges. Michelle comes into the midfield alongside Andrew Jacobson. But tonight, David Ferreira will lead the point of attack. Johnson and goal has probably been just as important as Mike McGee this season. Johnson rewarded being called in by Jurgen Klinsmann to the U.S. men's national team. Juan Luis and Ungano had the first touch back to Lorenowitz as we're underway. Where FC Dallas has lost twice this year. Castillo. Castillo with a shot. Sean Johnson. Behind the play. Well, Fabian Castillo late getting back to do an onside position. Hitter by Anangano and in off the corner. Chicago has scored first. Anangano has been lurking around the net all night long. And he scores the header off the corner. It's just a good whipped in ball from Mike McGee and Anongano from that angle. That's just a great header for Mike McGee, his fourth assist on the season for Anongano. That's just a redirection glance. And at that speed, not that pace, that accuracy, nothing Chris Seitz can do. Anongano gets his second goal in two games. He's been very good on that right-hand side of the defense. And now you've got Fabian Castillo against him again. Cuts in on Anibaba. Shot! Johnson down to make the save. Well, that's better from Fabian Castillo. He's looking to set up Anibaba. Good double up pressure from Austin Berry. Watch Berry come across. Delay, delay, delay. Cuts inside right. And then tries to just slot that near post. Always difficult to beat the size and strength. Chicago seventh in the East right now. Now the uh, good news as Alex, oh, a shot is deflected. Alex took the shot and then it took a ricochet off Mike McGee and goes in. A second for Chicago here in the 42nd minute. Uh, it's a huge goal for the visitors right before the stroke of the halftime whistle. And again, Alex getting the start with Rios away with the Uruguayan national team. The big first touch finds Alex. He gets his head up, takes that shot. And that's just Mike McGee's 19th goal. And again, I, I, I talked about being a poacher and a goal scorer. But sometimes when you're having the season that Mike McGee's having, it, it's incredible how goals will go in. He knew nothing about that. Somehow as he turns and just tries to protect himself, hits the right side of his body. Chris Seitz already going down to his right-hand side. McGee with the corner. Matt Hedges gets there first. Fell to Jackson. Held up by Anibaba with a shot, and Anibaba has scored. Three for Chicago as Anibaba scores for the first time since May of 2012 against Portland. And again, what it comes down to for the Chicago Fire is just winning that second ball. And for FC Dallas, everything's just going the wrong. Good whipped in ball. First touch just pops up. Header initially won. Jackson clears it to the top of the 18. And as Jackson looks to double up and help on Bakari Samari, this is a phenomenal strike. What a great camera angle that is for Janil Anibaba. 32nd game of the season, played every minute of every match so far. Look at this angle. Settle. It's just a fantastic goal. Nothing Chris Seitz can do about it. 3 nothing to the visitors. It's amazing in this day and age, but it's all individual. It's just how bad that ACL tears, how quickly you recover. A right front here to Kenny Cooper. Cooper's got a chance and scores. Cooper has pulled one back here for FC Dallas. They've got a long mountain to climb. But Cooper hooks one in past Sean Johnson. First goal tonight for FC Dallas. The fifth of the season for Cooper. A big goal from Kenny Cooper. And this is the size and the physical strength of Cooper. Ball gets whipped in. And Gonzalo gets Cigaras on the wrong side of Cooper. No pressure on David for able to find Cooper's run. And as he settles with his right foot, he leans back into the defender. 
Segaris bumps him down to the ground, and then it's an outside the right foot finish for Cooper. Right now, he's playing in front of Andrew Jacobson, kind of patrolling that right front side of Jacobson with David Ferreira over on the left-hand side. Ramon Nunez playing underneath. FC Dallas going for it. And a long ball over the top. Jackson is trying to fight off Segaris. They're hoping for a call here. Is he pointing to the spot? He is. Kevin Stott has given the penalty in the 74th minute. Lorenowitz has Stott backpedaling as the captain for Chicago is right in his grill. Without seeing the replay, I agree with the Chicago Fire. I don't think this is a penalty. Jackson gets in behind. Two players going shoulder to shoulder. They get their legs caught. I, I think Segaris gets his foot on the ball before Jackson. Ball comes over the top. Watch the foot of Segaris. I think he gets the ball. FC Dallas, very fortunate, going to be able to, right there, I think he gets the ball. It's a tough penalty to call. And right now, you got players trying to figure out who's going to take it. Ramon Nunez wants it. Well, Kenny Cooper's converted a penalty this year. Well, Andrew Jacobson just had to tell Ramon Nunez, pull him off. Nunez isn't happy about it. It'll be Cooper from the spot. The two penalties converted this year for FC Dallas, one by Cooper, one by Michelle. Cooper converted against Portland here in May. And FC Dallas on what looked like a bit of a tough penalty will have a chance here. Cooper, the shot, 3-2. A brace for Kenny Cooper. 75th minute. It's getting interesting. But it's a gutsy penalty taken by that man, Kenny Cooper. Goes right down the middle as Sean Johnson goes to his right. Johnson trying to stay big, trying to keep his feet there. Pretty interesting to see how this one happened. Ramon Nunez wanted that PK. They took the travel out of the last couple of matches. Corner, Cooper, clears right back to Mike McGee. McGee shifting past Cooper. McGee with a ball in front, the bicycle is right there and nearly scored. Well, that's a center back right there. Austin, Austin Berry. Berry. Who says center backs can't pull something incredible off? Right there, look at that goal. Oh, look at that. That's unbelievable, that, that bicycle right there. Out. FC Dallas has had 13 winners or equalizers in the 70th minute or later. Here's Ferreira, the ball bending in. Castillo, right to Johnson, save! And then played out for another corner. No, not now, wait. Not now, not now, wait. Another chance here for FC Dallas. It fell to Castillo. Ferreira's corner, bent in front, headed down. Lloyd trying. And here's an intercept by Lorenowitz as Lloyd was trying to play a cross field ball to Jacobson. Jeff Lorenowitz lays it off for a non -Gano. Save by Sykes! A throw in for Chicago, but Sykes keeps the glimmer of hope alive by stoning a non -Gano. That's a huge save for Chris Sykes, and that's the type of save he's got to come up with with hopes for FC Dallas to claim a point. He doesn't make that save on Anangano. It's lights out, close up shop. Chicago Fire sitting on 4-2 and Anangano knows it. Big save by Sites. And that's it, it is three points in the books. Frankie Klopas and company hang on.